Verizon used 5G and a pair of Insta360 Pro 2 cameras to pull off the world's first 8K live-stitched live broadcast of an NFL game. The feed was integrated into ESPN's live broadcast and projected into a dome 200 miles away in Miami. This is how they made it happen. So when we were introduced to this project, this to us was very challenging because no one's ever done this before in this scale, in this kind of resolution, with this distance and all on 5G. Well, with 4G, we're limited on bandwidth. We can't send high resolution and if when we do, there's latency. So what 5G solves is immediate latency. It happens instantly. We needed a camera that was very, very small, uh, lightweight, super small, that can stream high resolution and could communicate back and forth very easily and was really reliable. In order to achieve this daunting task, Insta360 has developed the first 8K live stitching software. The software takes six or eight unstitched camera files, sends them into a remote stitching server powered by two NVIDIA GPUs, and automatically combines them into one fully stitched file live. You can send it into your traditional broadcast, or in our case, a dome that's located 200 miles away from the streaming location. There were a number of challenges we faced along the way. Among them was having to develop a way to transmit and convert our signal into SDI, uh, which was something that the broadcasters demanded. But our engineers were day and night tirelessly to bring that vision into reality. What got us really excited about this project were the applications that something like this would inspire uh, in the future. The ability to take a 360 video, reframe it live, and plug different parts of that video into the traditional broadcast is absolutely huge. Now, any traditional broadcaster that relies on an SDI signal can seamlessly fit into our workflow without creating a ton of additional work for themselves. We had to think about the problem and its solutions as a one whole thing. You can't just put things in the dome. You have to de-warp it, position it correctly inside that dome. But then you also need to also think about the handsets, and that's a different format. It is a full rectangular that goes inside the handsets. So we have to think about all that, and that's what we delivered for Pro Bowl.